man! I'm, I'm not doing so hot. <laughs> How's your training going? Mind your own business. Well, don't overdo it. Though I'm sure someone as tough as you will be just fine. You've got that right. That should put Bulma's mind at ease then. Whoops, you didn't hear that from me. <laughs> just you wait, Kakarot. It won't be long until you're struggling to keep up with me. That took longer than I thought it would. I'd better hurry back to Piccolo and Gohan. Hello? Um... Goodbye. Oh man, I bet everyone's stronger now that they've been training. stronger now that they've been training. You're late. What have you been doing? Sorry. Ran into a few hitches. <laughs> but I did manage to get in a good bit of training, though. I got to fight against Tien. <laughs> I figured as much. Luckily for us, we took the liberty of starting without you. <laughs> Sorry about that. Yeah! How's the training coming along, Goku? We've done so much to prepare. Guess we're about to find out whether our training is sufficient enough to handle these androids. Right! Three years had passed, and the fated day of May 12th had finally come. All right, you three be careful out there. You sure you don't want to take some lunch? No, we're good, Mom. Thanks. Sorry, Chi-Chi. All right, we're off. <laughs> Uh, it's probably nothing. Hey, Goku, tell me the truth. These androids, do you think we have a chance against these guys? I honestly can't tell you if we do. I won't know until we actually fight them. Go on. Take it easy, okay? Don't worry, we've got plenty of time. If you lose up all that power of yours before the fight even starts. Oh, sorry. Trouble, lady. Best to deal with this now. 
five and a half miles southwest of South City. There it is. And so, the warriors gathered at the time and place that Trunks had mentioned. Bulma, who was eager to see the androids for herself, greeted them. But she wasn't alone. She had a baby boy in tow. That boy was a young Trunks, the child she had with Vegeta. All except Goku were surprised to see the child. However, the impending arrival of the androids quickly put everyone back on edge. Then, as Goku and the others stood ready, flames suddenly began to break out in the city. Is it the androids? Could be, but there's no way to tell from here. Hey, what gives? I couldn't sense their power at all. Th that's it. They're androids, which means we can't sense their energy. Y you're kidding, right? Where could they be? If we can't sniff them out, then we're just going to have to hunt them down. All right, guys, split up. If you spot them, let the rest of us know. Got it? Gohan, you go help the people who were caught up in that explosion, okay? Okay. The androids attack. Let's go! Jeez. Where could those things possibly be? I'm starting to think I should have had Trunks show me a picture of them or something. W wait I never imagined we wouldn't be able to track their energy. Talk about a pain. Anything, Piccolo? Nothing at all. There's no trace of them anywhere. All right, be on your guard. They're proving to be a real pain. It's me you're after, then show your faces already! Yeah. 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 Maybe one of the other guys found them. Tianxian Han! Sorry, but I haven't found the androids. Same here. There's gotta be some place we haven't thought to look! We might be in for some real trouble with these androids. Yeah. Yeah. Krillin, how are things going with you? Not so good, Goku. No androids over here. Gotcha. If you find one of them, let us know, okay? Whoa, I just felt a huge drop in someone's energy. It's Yamcha. Y Yamcha! Krillin! Yamcha's still alive! I left some sensu beans behind. Get him out of here and give him one, will ya? Uh, right, I'm on it. So, you're the androids. Odd. How did you figure out that we were androids? And it would seem you also knew that we'd be right here. Why is that? You want us to talk? Then you're gonna have to try and make us. Very well. Wait, not here. Let's move somewhere else. Somewhere with no people. You're okay with that, right? Somewhere with no people? Fine. We will allow you to choose the place of your death, Goku. How do you know Goku's name? We know all of you. You are Piccolo. And you are Tien, yes? We can talk about this later. Let's go!
How did they know our names? Not surprised the androids know about Goku. He's the one who took down the Red Ribbon Army, after all. But... they know about all of us as well. That's far enough, Goku. This ends now. We will fight right here. You have lost your right to choose the location. So, before we fight, tell us how. Tell us how do you know who we are? Very well. I will tell you, Goku. I have been observing you for quite some time now, using an ultra-small spy robot of mine. During the World Tournament, during your fights with Piccolo and Vegeta, I continued my research long after you destroyed the Red Ribbon Army, so that I could someday witness your defeat. Revenge against me, huh? Yes. Because of you, the Red Ribbon Army could never realize its dream of world domination. Only Dr. Giro remained. You're talking almost as if you're Dr. Giro himself. Don't be ridiculous. I am a creation of his. I am Android 20. Dr. Giro is no longer among the living. All right, then. Did you happen to observe my fight on Planet Namek? Huh? There was no need to waste the time. We were able to effortlessly ascertain your power after your fight with Vegeta. You're in for some real trouble, because guess what? You missed the best part! What? Whether you know it or not, you just dug your own grave. You don't know about Super Saiyans. I see. Impressive, but no cause for concern. Android 19 here should be more than enough to defeat you. Oh yeah? Trying to rush the fight. He's already nearing his full power. He's in a lot of pain by the looks of him. Ah! He, he absorbed the attack? Goku! Don't fire any energy attacks! They can absorb them with their hands! Absorb the attacks. <clears throat> Give me a break. What? What's going on? Goku doesn't look so good. Wait. It can't be. It's the heart virus the kid from the future mentioned. What? You mean he hasn't taken the medicine yet? I don't believe it. He seemed perfectly fine when he was training alongside me and Gohan. Damn. Of all the times for Goku to get sick, why did it have to be now? Man, I'm, I'm not doing so hot. What's going on? Yeah. <laughs> If 
anyone's going to defeat Kakarot, it's going to be me, not some junk puppets like you. Vegeta! I felt an incredible energy over there earlier, but it's pretty weak now. Maybe the fight's over. Gohan! Krillin! Yamcha! What's going on? One of the androids did me in, but Krillin here saved me with the Sensu Bean. I've got more Sensu Beans here. We need to meet up with the others and fast. Over there! Dad? Goku! The hard virus that the kid from the future mentioned. That's likely what he's struggling with. No! Somebody needs to get him out of here. Give him that heart medicine right away! I'll take him. I hate to admit it, but I'm probably not going to be much help here anymore. Looks like you've got to deal with me now. Android 20, please allow me to exterminate Vegeta! Hmm. Very well. Then I will take care of the remaining four. <laughs> you two don't look as tough as everyone had said you would be. We already know the full extent of your fighting prowess. Oh, you need more than calculations to understand us Saiyans. So tell me, are androids capable of experiencing fear? Vegeta's a... a Super Saiyan? I've yearned for nothing more than greater power, and trained the hardest I've ever trained. Eventually, I came to realize the limitations of my power. Overwhelmed with anger and frustration, I finally awakened and became a Super Saiyan! That might be impressive to some. A paltry power increase does not make you a match for us androids. That cocky sneer will soon be turned into sheer terror. But wasn't having a pure heart a prerequisite for becoming a Super Saiyan? Oh, I can assure you, my heart is quite pure. Pure evil. Vegeta's a Super Saiyan? Power is unbelievable. This is certainly an unexpected twist. <laughs> <laughs> 